Hey guys, uh, so SHOT Show 2020 is a wrap. We're like in the last 15 minutes. Uh, my voice is hoarse. I think we're both really tired. Uh, the whole crew's tired. Uh, great show this year. What we wanted to do is if you didn't have a chance to come to the SHOT Show this year, or uh, if you were at the show but didn't a chance to come to the booth, we wanted to give you guys a run through of the products we are showing this year. Uh, just uh, to give you guys a little bit of info. So first thing we're going to start with is our Gen 2 MCS folder. I'm going to turn it over to Ted. Yep. So those uh, familiar or not familiar with, this is our right side folding. Uh, modified cycle system. It uses uh, shortened carrier, carrier and dual recoil springs uh, to cycle under this distance. It's fully capable of firing with the stock folded or deployed. This happens to be a brace. It has our what we call the G Rex brace. It's got multiple positions. You can preset your length of pull and just pull it. It features the Gearhead Works Mod 1, um, ATF compliant pistol brace, um, a great option in addition to our right side folding stock. Yeah, guys, the beauty with these again is you can install them on any upper, any lower receiver. Uh, no need to re zero. It installs really in minutes. Uh, they're available for rifle caliber, really um, 223, all the way anything up to really uh, 50 bale. We've seen customers do so. Uh, definitely a wide variety of options. And the, the, again, the, the MCS folders have been out on the market now for uh, a little over four years. You know, we upgraded to the Gen 2 to get them a little bit lighter, um, a little bit closer, more compact to the. Uh, uh, the frame of the weapon uh, just based on customer feedback and we'll continue to do that with all products that we develop uh, for you to be able to get that uh, the, that weapon set up just the, the best way you want it so uh, let's talk a little bit about the SCW line that we just recently released thank you Jason uh, and I'll turn it over to you Ted to, to. yeah absolutely um, so we're, here we're showing the SCW this was uh, a project, and this is the SCW 2.5 tail hook pistol brace version. So this uses um, a project we work with uh, Gearhead Works to develop the tail hook mod three. This is a pistol brace, still falls under their um, ATF paperwork that they have, fully compliant um, as a pistol brace. So here we're showcasing a, a nine millimeter in the 2.5 version for the SCW, a single-sided bar allowing for full um, functions of the weapon system when you have a forward assist and so just the most compact PDW brace that you can drop onto an AR-15. Um, this happens to show uh, a project we're working on uh, this year is uh, developing an MP5 style handguard uh, that we like to call the AR-9SD. It's a forward side charge, give it the old prop. Yeah, yeah, we'll flip that around just so you can see it a little bit. Uh, pretty simple to use, right? I mean, if you're familiar with the MP5. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Yep. Yeah. Non-reciprocating, yeah. forward side charging. Yeah, upper. guys, no timeline. Just, I, and I know these questions are coming up a lot already while we've been at the show. There's, there's no direct timetable for release. Uh, We'll keep you guys updated. We haven't set any price points or anything like that yet, but uh, uh, you'll hear more about these as we get closer in the near future. So we'll talk about, a little bit about the SCW-4 here. Now here is the SCW-4, also available in uh, 9mm or rifle caliber options. The SCW-4 does not come with a bolt carrier group because it doesn't use a proprietary BCG. This is the second shortest PDW brace that drops in just under four inches at 3.9 um, uses a standard BCG are still our bufferless dual recoil spring design um, this one still showcasing with the mod 3 tail hook from gearhead works um, and uh, it has five different positions that it can be set at um, still all within compliance if you do the 2.5 or the 4 the only thing that changes other than the need to have a BCG in the 2.5 and not in the 4 is just the, the longer buffer tube. So if you decided you wanted to switch some parts out, it's fairly easy to do. You can also switch out a stock, so if you get that paperwork back and you want to upgrade your pistol to an SBR, you can punch out two pins and add the stock portion of it as well. Yeah, I, just looking at this other side to the SCW, I know we get a lot of questions like, 
How does it work and is it stable? Guys, like all Dead Foot, Arm, all Dead Foot Arms products, we, we design everything so there's no button to find, not, not something that, you know, a spot you need to find the heat in the moment to activate the stock to the position or brace to the position you want it. Just rip straight back. That maximum length of pull with the SCW, whether it's the 5 or the 2.4, uh, is 12 and 3 quarters inches. And then right here by the pistol grip, you just got your release lever, as you can see right there. Just push that back in. You collapse the brace or stock down to its, back to its shorter configuration. Um, guys, the SCW options and the, the folding stock options, both great options that will take you as compact, really, as you can possibly go without disabling the weapon. So uh, backpack gun, trunk gun, whatever you're looking to do, uh, you can reach out to us if you have questions, www.deadfootarms.com. Uh, we're pretty good about getting back to customers or potential customers who have questions via social media as well. Um, and that's on whether it's Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. We have a Twitter account. We really don't use it, to be perfectly honest, but we do have one. And if you send us a message, we can probably respond there too as well. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, uh, we just want to thank everybody for watching the video. Thank everyone who uh, attended SHOT Show this year. I think we had a really good time. We're really excited to get home and get the hell out of here. So yeah. thanks, and we'll catch you on the flip side. See you.